You gotta turn that off. Blam! We're live. Are we? I don't see us. So I don't know <laughs> if we don't. are or not. We're live on YouTube. Which says we're live. It says okay. stop streaming live. Eight seconds now. Okay. Well, welcome to Home Improvement How To, where our goal is to educate, empower, and equip you so that you can have success on your next painting project. You should probably scoot over a little closer to me and. There you are. Now you're in the video a little yeah. bit more. So, um, yeah. Chris got new glasses. Yeah. My daughter suggested that I get rid of um, all my old Oakleys because she thought I looked like a nerd in them. Oh, and, and so. it goes, I'm going to let him wear them for a few minutes. Let us know what you think about his glasses. But look at his shirt. My super rad shirt. Titan sent it to me. Yeah. That he really is, likes it. That is one sick logo. Oh, that's what we have. It. We have a couple of them to give away tonight. Oh, we can give away a couple of those, but they're only, there's only specific sizes. Well, that, they would be happy with whatever they got. Yeah. We have a large, and I think we have an extra large. A, a large and two. Extra, we can give away two of these tonight. Two of a these large and tonight. an extra large. And, and you um, will be rad like Chris is Super rad. rad. Yeah. So what do you guys think of my glasses? Yeah, I think you could take them off because we're inside, but he thought they looked really cool with his Titan shirt. Look, somebody says he's digging the shades. Aaron oh. Singer says... <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Okay, but he could take them off now. <laughs> so tonight's topic is um, on painting cabinets. We're going to give you some tips and tricks. You know, we've been painting cabinets for um, three years in the way we're going to teach you the method or talk about the method we um, use. I've been painting cabinets for 15 or more years. Yeah. But, um, we, I think we've got it like we're almost perfecting it, but... Well, I I'm, think... What, I'm feeling really comfortable in my shades. I know. Well, the thing is... <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I don't... Cause I can't see your eyes. Cause I'm like hiding. In, I'm there's no more nerves. Cause I'm hiding behind my shades now. Hi Jenny. Jenny's on. Mm -hmm. Ryan Pray Petzels. Pray for you and your husband. Ryan says he wants an extra large. We've got Andrew's on. Thank you very much. Help um, spreading the swag. Yep. Andrew. He's gonna give away a couple Titan shirts. And next week we're gonna have a big Titan giveaway, only on the live show. So you gotta be with us next Monday night because we're gonna do a big Titan giveaway. But tonight um, in Boise, we're wrapping up our exterior season and we're going to be moving inside. And so um, since we want to educate and empower and equip you, we want to tell you about a device or machine that Chris started using a few years ago that has helped him. And so we just want to introduce you to it if you don't know about it. And, um, you know, he did it a different way for many years and it worked, but this is better. And so that's what we want to um, let you know about. Titan should like make these glasses their own because it like goes with their like shirt shirt and stuff Thank it's you, like Andrew. they could be titans <laughs> so we'll do away with the, my cool shades okay. my daughter likes them she okay. picked them out so now so I'm tell them. me about your week any special highlights well if you follow me on instagram you'll see uh, one of my highlights and that was blam i shot some ducks so I got myself oh, six makes ducks. Makes me a little sad, but it's... Duck hunting season just started here in Idaho. And We're going to eat them. Those of you that don't know and never been to Idaho, Idaho is really big into the outdoors, hunting, fishing. I'm I'm a bass fisherman, uh, hunt um, waterfowl, and, um, and you know, snowboard, my well, Michael, but, but I, if you do have any good duck recipes, I have a lot of duck I need to cook. So yeah. share those because so, we want to be an environment where we share. What yeah. do we share? Um, we share this pain. So if any if Videos? anybody out there knows how a good recipe to cook ducks, because last year we just <laughs> were experimenting and never really found like the amazing recipe. Yeah. But I had some um, some friends of mine give me some. I mean, we absolutely butchered the goose we did, mm -hmm. and that didn't taste too good. But send me your de duck recipes, what you marinated in. If you just have something simple that you marinated in, let us know in the comments below. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So. And so, but the sharing brought up like Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Can't you share? videos or didn't you want to remind something like that well yeah yeah all yeah that's just sharing just in yeah. general i mean sharing just good. share i mean okay. share is good like but, i'm going to share my my ducks with you oh, my duck oh, breasts I'm not and gonna, with the family yeah. and my friends but if, if you enjoy our videos on facebook and if you enjoy them on youtube please hit that share button yeah and um it just notifies all your friends and it is just kind of helps spread the word about this because we want to get the word out and teach a lot of people how to paint. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, because so, we want you to have success and to like a thumb, a thumbs work. up and a share is like really yeah. cool. It is very cool. So, so what uh, else? You went well, duck hunting. Yeah, we'll say just one oh, more time the, the topic. Thank you, Shad. The, the, thank you very much, Shad, um, for the super chat. We got two super chatters on Andrew Slovisek and um, Shad Owen. We so, couldn't we couldn't be the show without Andrew here. Tonight is about 
painting cabinets and I'm gonna show you some of the tools and accessories we paint. I'm gonna show you this killer way that we came up with um, spraying doors and stuff. So we're gonna mm -hmm. talk about that, how you can spray a cabinet door in a, one shot and be able to let it dry and hang it the same day. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. So so um, what else for you? Yeah, you super cool. Hunting. Another, and um, that the day before that was um, Afton's last dance. So Afton's last, last dance. Homecoming. That sounds it so It was her sad. last dance. Well, homecoming. Yeah. Right, homecoming. it was her last dance. She's Because yeah. she's moving on to college. So it Early, was, so I'm not quite ready for that. She's going to college early yeah so, not, not quite ready for that yeah. january so um Ooh. actually if we see any like duck stuff we have to any duck recipes send them that's to, us oh yeah so <laughs> perfect so that, that's us i know she uh, mckenna said because if they put it in the live show right now we wouldn't be able to see it because the feed oh, goes yeah. away see she's thinking look at food network very our, good our, all that money i'm spending on her in college man she's like on it that's like so cool. <laughs> She's graduating from college this year yeah. too. Yeah, my That's daughter exciting. um is McKenna is the social media manager and She's uh, she's the one that can sit here and type and and um, throw that stuff in there. So when you see that, unfortunately, John um, John knows a lot about painting cabinets and stuff. Mm -hmm. But John just left the job site where we were painting with, and um, he's on his way home. And he's um, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make it on tonight. Well, but the good thing is, whoa, somebody's is... calling you. Yeah, I won't answer Who that. Who was it? Um, it said home. It's one of those weird calls. Oh, weird call. But um, the thing is, is we have videos. So we're just going to introduce did you, you. Did you notice that, that cup? I just noticed that right there. Who bought me that? <laughs> I did. Did you buy me that? <laughs> I did. Look, okay, they can see it. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I just can't help it. It says. Does it say that? It, yeah. How funny. <laughs> that is funny. No. Um, that just distracted me. I get distracted easy. Um, Do you really think I'm sexy? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. So you're, you're blushing. Just, you're, you're distracting me. All right, I won't distract okay. you. Okay. Thank you, Dave. Oh, Dave Evans. David Thank Evans, another you. super chatter. What's up, everybody? Chris and wow. Lisa have been so helpful to me and my job. Thanks um, to their email service. Um, cool. Glad we yeah. can help, David. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very cool. much. So, um. What we were talking about was you were saying Afton went to the dance. Oh, yeah. She went to homecoming dance. And so that's really cool. And she's graduating early, heading off to Washington State University, Wazoo. So yeah. it was kind of cool to see her and go. I took photographs and yeah. stuff. And there is a photograph on Instagram. Once again, if you, do, if you don't follow us on Instagram, and um, there, I put a picture of her on Instagram with her date. And then I put an Instagram with me and my ducks. Oh, you did? I did. <laughs> Well, he's going to eat them, so we don't waste them. It's not. And it's it's okay for the environment. I still, I'm not a hunter, but that's okay. Right. I support you. <laughs> so anyways, I definitely, you know, we've had a lot going on in our country and around the world. And so, um, you know, I just think I'm so thankful for my family and for you guys that are with us every week. I mean, it's like. I see the same names and I feel like I'm getting to know you guys. And so, you know, just it's so important with all the bad stuff going on to just be connecting to your family. And my brother's a fireman and he was here a little while ago, but he fought the fires down in Southern California and he got sent up to Northern California and he's up there right now. So I'm praying for his safety and, you know, it's just really bad up there. But it's been really cool because... I have an aunt and cousins that live up there, and he hasn't seen them for years. And so he's been able to spend a little bit of time with them. And so that's the blessing in the midst of a horrible situation. Yeah. So um, that's really cool. Those blessings are out there. So, we so he's still out there, and hopefully, um, pray for his safety. So yeah, he says they're, so. they're coming out. Yep. So, and you did say um, we're seeing a lot of the same names, yeah. which is was really cool. But check yeah. this out. Um, here, here's names that I haven't seen before. Um, we got Eric Fallout Guy. Oh, There's, yay. Um, thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with us. Capstone Painting. I haven't heard of you. Thank you for being with us. haven't heard of him. We got us. Junior 24. Have you heard that one? No. We got no. Marla White. Um, I know Marla. Marla. Yes. So what about it's been a while. Um, Pretty Pete 007, 007? No, Bond. but Marla likes my shirt. And, and so oh, we so do. So we got our new, this is our new um, um, girl shirts, yes. women shirts. So. Yes. They're couple. Uh, I made Adam make some nice ones, Yay. nice material. Yes, it is nice. It's very comfortable. And it's got you know the women's V cut neck. Yes, so it's I like it much better. Yeah, so cool. So, so we're working on our website to be able to sell those for a better price. Yeah. 
um, directly from us. So hopefully in the next month, we will have our online store up and running where you can buy the hats and when you could buy the shirts and a few different items. And like I said, they're going to be more affordable because they're going to come directly from us instead of somebody else. Yep. So we got so. Try Me Custom Painting. I haven't seen them. Mm -hmm. And they're like, so how, do, how do you buy from an online store? So right now, I mean, we do have, if you go to my website, theidahopainter.com, we have a shirt and hat store which has a whole lot of different paint life stuff from cups to coffee cups to hats and everything and they don't have this hat specifically this is it's one that i've made um specifically for our workers and stuff and us to work with but you can go to it's on my website the idaho and you can buy all kinds of paint life stuff and then my tool store is there where um all the tools that we've find in there that we have in our vehicles that we paint with and we actually use we've created our own tool store on a website and you can purchase them there and purchase in our shirts and hats there um do just go to help you know funding um our shows and stuff our shows and videos yeah. and so it's a simple way to help us we do have email support phone support we sell copies of our own 20 page bid packet that um that you know it's taken me eight to ten years to create and develop and it wins us a lot of our bids and stuff but yeah it's kind so of so but our, I just want to say the the store we're having our own online store created John who is super talented is making the store it's super cool it's coming out where it's going to sell just we're going to sell specifically some things that we want to just brand um the Idaho painter we're going to have our own paintbrush our the shield holder that we use cardboard shield holder our hats and our stickers will be sold there mm -hmm. so we're going to be selling our stickers on there and it's coming soon mm -hmm. John's got it almost done but we're just a few tax things that we got to work yeah. out so we, we have we have things to do but yeah. that will be more always affordable. doing stuff more affordable so we're talking about this cabinets we're talking about this sprayer first because oh yeah probably for 10 plus years how did you paint cabinets yeah so um painting cabinets was is i would say for at least 10 years 10 12 years the way i went about painting cabinets and anything like detailed like i'm um, hand railing and I rod iron fences with small pickets. We did it with an airless sprayer. Mm -hmm. And you can get a good finish with an airless sprayer. I mean, I would have had a lot of satisfied customers, no unsatisfied ones with an airless sprayer. And that's what I knew and really all I knew. And I'd never touched an HVLP sprayer, you know, in my career. And then I got this sprayer, not this, you, this one sitting oh, right yeah. here. They, they can, can see, see it. it. So that's a Titan cat spray sprayer. I got that sprayer, um, this identical sprayer. This one's brand new, but I got it and was a little intimidated with it. Um, didn't know how to use it and kind of just um, learned a little bit. John started messing with it and um, he learned how to use it first and then taught me. Uh -huh. And then we started painting cabinets with it. I could take this transfer pump off so they can. Yeah, what um, is that transfer so pump? The transfer pump is, let me, you just set it on there. We'll, we'll talk about the transfer pump a little bit, but that's the cap spray unit right there. And once we, we, we figured it out, we learned how to use it fast. And man, the, the difference in the quality of your finishes, I thought our cabinets were really, really good and mm -hmm. high quality. Hands down, doing it with an HVLP sprayer, nothing is better. Doing nope. cabinets, um, you can paint them with our method. You can paint them faster and just get higher quality finishes. With an HVLP sprayer, like doing wrought iron fences, the amount of product that you use oh, is yeah. significantly We've about that. less. less. So you're going to use Rising less product, um, put not put as much product in in the air and stuff. So the volume that you put it in the air is a lot less. You can really dial in, control your spray pattern control them down to very small you know circular patterns to wider patterns it's just the HVLP sprayer is so much more versatile and gives you a much finer finish mm -hmm. and our cabinets now when we're after we're done with them they look like they came out of a cabinet shop so yeah it's kind of cool. so how expensive are these machines like so that, that I mean, unit right there um it comes with um a gun it comes with the the maxim elite gun this gun mm -hmm. comes with that comes with the hoses um in a full setup that thing's ready to go and i think it's around fifteen hundred dollars so i mean if you're going to do this for a living it's a really good option and investment yeah. to buy because yeah. you're going to have a better 
finished product and you're going to feel better about what you're doing. Yeah. And yeah, the amount of the amount of money that we charge for cabinets and the amount of money that we make on the cabinets, you know, we could pay for that machine in one cabinet job. Yeah. And um, one to two cabinet jobs, it would pay for itself right then. So and how there. about a DIYer if they really want a good finish? Is it worth it? And it, it's, it is really worth it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's worth it because not only doing cabinets, I mean, it's pretty amazing. You can do spray tans. Oh, oh yes. You can spray oh, tan yes. your kids. Yes. You can spray tan your wife. Oh, that was wrong. I gave you a spray tan. <laughs> that was wrong. But what was sad. It worked though, didn't it? It was sad because it does make you look better. Like. <laughs> right. So I we used, we did, um, oh. we set it up and because oh. my daughter was going and paying money getting spray tans. I for walked, a dance. Right. It was for a dance. And it was, it was $35. For and yeah. so I, I went and watched her to get the spray tan. Why well, didn't watch her? Because they, you know, they, I guess they don't have clothes on when they get the spray tans. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't watch her, but I went in afterwards and I said, how do you guys do that? And um, it was a friend of mine that was doing it and she showed me and it was with a setup just like this, but it was a really cheap gun and a little cheap um, gravity fed setup. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's just an HVLB sprayer. And I'm like, it's like, I was like, where do you get the spray tan stuff? And she's just like, I get it online. And I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, I just went and bought a, a bottle of it. And then I spray tanned on my daughter and that's for funny. the next dance. Yeah. And then we were doing do we spray tans. Do have anybody tans. talking or no? No, I think everybody's gone. Everybody's gone, and we're just talking in this room by ourselves. Everybody we're so left. weird. We're just doing we this live so show by ourselves. So, but so the cabinets, it's the good. But how about like small furniture? Furniture, um, excellent point. Spraying furniture with an HVLP sprayer, very good idea. Finer finish. Um, Shad uses. Shad owned professionally. I'm in the beauty industry. We Air use airbrushes. Brushes. What's an airbrush? Um, I thought that. I thought this is well. I mean. I don't know terminology, but I is mean, that an airbrush? Tell us. Uh, airbrushes is what you use with. Uh, I think HVLP sprayers, airbrushes. I'm not sure. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so um, Aaron Guppy, I need a tan. He's from Canada. Yeah, but he. So there is but people on. Michael Walsh says, "How I want to get a spray tan." They or that he gets overspray all over. With a spray tan? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. When when I did totally. the spray tan, I had I had him out in the middle of the grass. Yeah, remember? That yes, because it does throw overspray like everywhere. Yeah. When they did it, like in the, the where they did, they do it in a booth when you yeah. go get them done. It. So, um, you, we could do a live spray tan. Show. Yeah, no, no, not. I a can good, do not spray a, you not a, a good, tan. not a good idea. All right, not a good idea. So, so, what the heck are we talking about? We're talking about how yeah, ten plus years you used a four forty or yeah. you used the three ninety five Graco, and it was okay. But once you found out about this. Um, and did the small learning curve. Um, it's it's a very versatile, yeah. good machine. So, um, I mean, we started off in the first set of cabinets we painted. This is the first set of cabinets were good. The quality mm -hmm. of the cabinets were good. I mean, we've definitely gotten better over time, but um, the learning curve is. I mean, it, it, you learn fast. It's easy. It's um, it's not. It's it can be. A, I, I think I just never did it before because I just thought I look. You look at the gun, and the gun can be a little intimidating. All these little hoses, gadgets, levers, and everything. And you compare that to an airless spray gun that just has a trigger, and the guard comes off. I mean, this guard comes off, and there's parts and pieces and stuff like that. And you know, you're just like, goodness sakes! I mean, um, you but know, do you have any videos telling how to use it? I do. So I have. We have videos on how. Um, if you want to, what we don't go over tonight, or what we do go over, I got into more detail on um, YouTube uh, we got videos painting cabinets the whole process how we go about mm -hmm. um, setting it up we how we spin the doors and spray them and and how to operate you know one of these guns you know it's just simple you got you got your material feed you know your airflow and all these other levers are just kind of turning you know it just weird it's it's very it's simple and easy to use you're watching the feed there yeah it says Eric fallout guy if I disappear it's because of a fire call so email me if I win anything we well, have to give us your email address that's you that gotta, is one thing but why don't we do a giveaway right now let's give away one of these titan yeah, shirts well, he's, and a sticker um this is your chance a sticker and a titan shirt i Where's wish i could show them um I, well, I put them in the bedroom and the oh. thing so th this is the titan shirt we're going to give away stand up and model it a titan <laughs> shirt and um we'll just and um, a sticker and a sticker and a Paint Life sticker. Bam. And they have to pick the number written on the bottom. Here, I'll write a number on the bottom of the sticker. Oh, do it top secretly. Here we go. People see. So the number is um, between 50 and 100. 50 and 100. So 
the first person that picks the number between 50 and 100, they'll have to email us their mailing address and I will get it off to them. Let's see, we'll um, pick the first number between 50, 50 and 100. 50 and 100, so pick a number. So Lance here, the first, the first one that we see. Okay, um, I have it and I'll show you guys. Oh. So I haven't seen it yet. Um, so do we have it? So Not while yet. you guys while you guys are picking, here I'll watch um, the number. You I'm going to give a little commercial to um, some coming up events that we're really really excited about. Um, we are going to be the guest of Paint Tech Training Academy. I don't know why I always mix that up. Paint Tech Training Academy. They are located in the UK. They teach spraying and they invited us to come to the National Paint and Decorating Show in Coventry um, in the UK. And so we are going November, is it 27th? No, 28th and 29th will be in Coventry. So if you're in that um, part of the world, come see us, go to their website. That's why I was holding the phone up so that you can see their website, but it's really easy to find. They're on Facebook, they're all over youtube website really easy to find so did you find oh i just see it i know that's like okay. way beyond okay so, so type, we got a winner. type in the name so here we go the name um and he was actually on the show before it even started chris i think it's navarette um chrs nav um i saw him he was the first one to guess it it's navarette navarette n-a-v-a R E T T or R R E T E. You are Navarette. the winner of this Titan shirt. And we have a large and an extra large. So if you're Tell one us of which those one sizes, you want, large or extra large. Tell them to email our, you got to put our email address in. Home Improvement, how to give them our email and the address. Sticker, so put that sticker down too. Well, that's what Afton or McKenna's supposed to be doing this, not me. Yep. She's on the show. Yep, that's okay. So that is one exciting thing. We're going over to the UK and we are going to, um, Chris is going to be doing some classes. And so if you are over there, come see us. And then one other thing that I'm going to throw out there, we are going to be guests of Airless Discounters. They're the largest online seller in these different countries. See the flags in Germany and France and Spain and all these different countries. We're gonna be their guest in Berlin so Chris in the beginning want, of December. Chris wants the extra large, so now we just got a large okay. left. Cool. So we gotta email us your address and that you want that Make size sure shirt. You describe that sticker goes with yes. it, so there we go, cool. And so anyways, we're so excited and this is their website. So if you're over there, this is a good place to buy your sprayers and your tips yep. and all your different painting products. Yep. Okay, let's talk about um, painting cabinets now. And so uh, I'm gonna just gonna kind of walk you through the process that we go through. We talked about the sprayer, the, the um, sprayer that we use. We use the cap spray sprayer. We have um, several different guns. I'm gonna talk about the guns that we use and then I'm gonna walk you through the process to how we prep the cabinets. And um, I got plenty of time at 722, how we prep the cabinets and then how we spray them in a really cool system of spraying doors using this these wooden hangers. Mm -hmm. So, um, But yeah. you just purchased or you just got or whatever from Titan like this and like different miscellaneous stuff. Are you gonna accessories like a PP? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, so we're gonna go over all okay. those. I'm gonna talk about, you know, all those things. You should probably scoot over closer to me. Okay. sort of disappear off the screen okay. there. Um, so here we go. So I got the Titan, the Titan Cap Spray 115. That that's the sprayer we use, and it comes with this this gun, and this is the Maxim Elite gun. Mm -hmm. um, John, this is John's favorite gun by mm -hmm. far of any gun he's ever used. My favorite gun too. This gun, um, the just everything about this gun is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of little things um, about it that make it really cool. Just simple little things like, you know, um, the hook coming off and being able to reverse and stuff like that. Didn't you just learn uh, that recently? I did. And so there's a lot of cool things about it. I'm not going to go into how it's used, but we sprayed all of our cabinets with this gun, this uh -huh. type of gun, and our iron fences. Anything we did, we did it with this gun. Mm -hmm. It's a very versatile gun, but there are some limitations. This gun right here, the Maxim Elite, gun you can um 
this thing will rotate up top so it's a reversible so you can turn it into right here the exact same gun is now a gravity fed gun they have oh. a gun that's cheaper the the elite gun is cheaper um or the maxim gun mm -hmm. that's not elite is cheaper but you can't rotate it and make it gravity fed so we use this gun for a, a you know I don't know, several years, and then we started learning about some other things. Um, I think the 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 Titan cap spray, it does come, I believe it comes with a gravity fed mm -hmm. um, cup with it, so you can turn it into gravity fed. And we use this, the gravity fed cup, if we're, um, if we're painting small projects, like we have done some really small things, um, some small pieces of artwork and stuff like that. We've done, uh, if we set it up just to do one door, we have to go back and just do a door and we don't have you know, a spray can. You can, one of the, the advantages of this, all you need is a very small amount of product. So if you only had just a few ounces of product, you can put a few ounces in here and still spray with it. A few ounces in this gun, wouldn't if work. you had to tilt it like sideways or something like that, it yeah. wouldn't work. Okay. So this is a one quart pot on the bottom. This is called a pot. Mm -hmm. So that's a one quart pot. This is a, a gravity fed cup on the top. So, and where this does come into play, I, I've got um, a race bike. The frame on my race bike is um, $4,500 just for the frame. It's had to, um, I've broken the frame before, I had the carbon repaired, and to paint it, to um, paint it, I looked up how much the paint was, and for a couple ounces, it's like $100. And and that's just for ounces, and you don't wanna buy a whole quart, it cost me a fortune just for the yeah. paint. And you can put in just a few ounces of that paint, do your touch up, so you don't have to buy very much, because they sell it by the ounce. And so that's where this comes into play. This is good for really, really small projects. Mm -hmm. If you only have a limited quantity, great to use the gravity fund. This is the actual setup that I did your spray tan mm -hmm. with. Oh, this nice. Is it. Yeah. This is that the was gun. a one time. Pot. That was because Afton was, you were yelling at me, she was yelling at me. But like I said, it kind of was amazing because when you're tan, you do look a little better. Yeah. I, there's it was just, pretty cool. there, that's. Didn't I tan you for when we went to Hawaii? No, you just did it the one time. Oh. I was faded by the time I went right. there. Uh, so then, um, so that that's the system we used, and now Titan has come out with, and this is a brand new system right here. This is the PPS cup right here. Have you and, used it um, yet? I have. Okay. And so we've used it, tested it, and in what this does, th this cup right here. There's a lot of times you're painting the cabinets and you've got to get down the kick plate really low and you're trying to get down there and spray the kick plate because uh -huh. you're right next to the floor. This gun, if you turn it sideways or That's upside down, the then it'll suck air because uh -huh. the, um, let me show you inside. I'm, most of the people probably know, but so this is, goes to the bottom of the cup. So if you turn it upside down, your product runs down here. It's not going to suck the product. Now this PPS system, this is, you can now turn the cup upside down and spray upside down. That's one of the, the incredible benefits to this. It will spray upside down. But then also, here's another thing about this um, system that I'll show you. Airbrush is a super small pencil style HPLV. H HVLP? Yep. Cool. Yep. So um, let me get this out of here. I'll just take it off like um, Aaron, you say we're both more tan than all the Canadians, but guess what? We just went to the skin doctor and, and it's all sun damage is what we were told. All sun damage? <laughs> all sun damage, but that's okay. It's all part of life. So the PPS cup, here's the cup itself. He's taking it apart. I'm taking it all apart He's here. taking it apart. So it has a liner in it. So now you just pour your product in there and you, you know, put your lid on. And when you're done, this makes cleanup so much faster. Oh. So... And so, you, so they sell the liners. They sell the liners. And the liners are reusable. Oh, it, it says 3M. 3, 3M makes it. Okay. So this is, but 3M partner. makes it. This is, they partnered. Okay. So um, 3M makes this PPS cup for Titan. And um, so now this cup system, this you can use this quite a few times. Uh -huh. So you don't have to, it's not just if you wanted to clean it out. But for a lot of people that don't want to clean it out, toss that. Yeah. And they're cheap. But if you so, want to save the environment, it's a good if thing. If you want to save it and use it more than once and then toss it. But yeah. the, here's the thing that makes the PPS cup 
isn't necessarily because there there is PPS systems out there, but uh -huh. Titan has their own adapter now that you know adapts to this PPS cup. So oh. um, so 3M, this is the system that works with Titan. Okay. So this the adapter you can purchase just the adapter mm -hmm. alone. So yeah. So it just and it just screws on. It just um, you just would take off your you know whatever your cup on it, and then you would screw this adapter on here. And so this adapter, I've seen, uh, they sell this on Amazon. I have this available on my tool store now because mm -hmm. they sell it on um, Amazon. Titan sells is the actual seller. And then this just twists on there, the adapter goes on, and there you go. So this system, there you go. You can faster clean up and the ability to spray upside down. Oh, and here's another thing. This is, um, in this. it's just like the gravity fed gun. You just a small amount of product. This gun right here, what happens, there's this, this hose right here. It creates this vacuum and it starts oh. to suck this bag so and it closes use all the bag. The product. Yeah. It's going to take all the air out. It's going to suck it all out. So you don't have to have a tiny bit of product in there and it's going to suck this whole thing in until there's just product in there. So it's kind of cool. You're laughing. You see some funny stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Capstone painting. Where can I buy that sh that shirt? Um, is it the this shirt right here? Um, yeah. I, I just asked Titan to send me some swag, and it kind of showed up in the mail. And I was like, "That's one of the sickest yeah. like painting loaders so I've we, ever seen." We got a couple of them, and so we gave away one, and we're gonna give yeah. away one more tonight. I'm sure but you Titan went to. Has a, they have a good website, and I uh -huh. think you're gonna be putting a video out that's gonna be talking more in depth about um, the sprayer the cap sprayer yeah, I, and um, so um and you'll have a link of their website and so i bet you if you go to their website i they made the shirts they're really awesome i'm sure they're yeah. gonna sell them but you could contact them directly we don't know yeah it's super cool i don't know if it's gonna be like uh, we got a, a, a video coming out wednesday wednesday so and make sure we'll we'll find their email and i don't know if it. like if it's like more in depth we'll be talking about some other stuff or something but mm -hmm. it has john it's me and john talking about sprayers so you get to hear john and what he has to say about all these really cool accessories and stuff like that because john um he's you know, he says a lot of things different than I do. Yeah, and, and so um, real fast, like I like to do little commercials. Well, not commercial, but I want to hear, you know, styles and trends change. And so, you know, we're starting to paint last year, the year before started painting a lot of cabinets white. What, if you paint cabinets, what colors are you painting them? What products are you using? You know, what machines are you using to apply the paint? Um, we want to hear from you guys on the feed. So... I'm I'm looking and I'm I want to read and hear hear from you guys. But what what's the most popular color you paint cabinets? Um, um oh everybody wants white cabinets now. Mm -hmm. Pure white cabinets. It's a crazy. I did too. You, you, what it's interesting. You know, for the first ten years in cab, we didn't paint that many cabinets. Everybody has stained wood cabinets, That's and what all we of had. a sudden, two years ago, um, everybody wants white cabinets. Get on Pinterest, and it's mm -hmm. all white cabinets. So everybody gets on Pinterest, and that's where every. Everybody learns like, you know, trendy, styly stuff. And now it's crazy how many, we could just paint cabinets all winter long because everybody, everybody wants their wood cabinets yeah. that are lacquered um, with clear lacquer. They want them, you know, painted white now. I and, think I um, saw somebody talked about aqua coats because that was a product you found out about last year and you used um, like on our Naughty Elder cabinets, correct? Before painting that? them, aqua coats. Oh, uh, Do you well, remember that? That gets, um, yeah, aqua coat gets rid of... Um, it uh grain mm -hmm. in the wood the yeah grain filler yeah so um now this fee is like crazy how fast it's going somebody's <laughs> um aaron guppy says john and chris are the dynamic duo they are they are <laughs> um so, so pre-packed semi-gloss so uses yeah with pro classic the, so pro, i i spent a lot of cabinets with pro classic mm -hmm. and um Pro Classic and, and Solo. I've used a, a whole lot of different products, and they were all latex-based products. Bucky um, Allen says pre-cat semi-gloss. Is that uh, what you use? So I'm gonna we'll get into that right now. So mm -hmm. since I saw him, him brought it up, so white lacquer. Um, yeah. So uh, I just talked about you know the guns and stuff. There, you can hand me um, the oh the transfer pump. I'll talk yeah. about the transfer pump, and I'll talk about this is now we we use this for a lot of years. I don't want it to fall apart. And then we eventually learned about the remote pot. And the remote now, pot. What is the remote this pot? This is the way we do it um, all the time. We've got dogs barking now. Yep. Got a lot of dogs. Um, 
that's what happens so, if kids leave you get more dogs this is how it, this is the setup right here that we do all of our spraying with an hvlp sprayer now is um because we're typically spraying a lot of product this is a, re a cap spray remote pot this is titan's remote pot and what happens is now you have twice the amount of product mm -hmm. um you gonna have to like go muzzle that thing um i think that's money <laughs> no that's not money that's um peanut it's all right you're fine so um so it's, it's twice the amount of product and now you can hold this thing in your hand. John hooks it on like his belt buckle or he hooks it on his tool bag. I typically like just hang it on my pocket and now you just have your gun. And now your gun, you're a lot more versatile. You can turn your gun upside down, you can turn it sideways, but you can get into tighter spaces because you're not, you don't have like this, um, you know, the pot here hitting on things and knocking on things. So even though this can spray upside down, you still have the, the um, pot itself. This, a lot more okay. flexible, lot, it's a lot easier to use. So there's your system right there. This is the max, this is, um, this is the elite gun, or not the elite gun, the maximum gun. And this one won't turn into, this is the same, um, you can see this one will flip upside down so you can turn it into a gravity fed gun. This one won't, this gun's cheaper because um, it doesn't have that option right there but this is perfect for you know hooking up a remote pot and this is this is the really really cool system that remote pot is absolutely amazing so you can do it without a remote pot but remote pot now you don't have to keep your know, reef it's gonna last twice as long really and um and if you're doing a lot of work say when we're doing like a pool fence and stuff and we're gonna go through you know five gallons if you had five gallons you got to keep re refilling this quart pot mm -hmm. you know every single time you know that can kind of get tedious titan has the transfer pump and um and this what is a transfer pump this transfer pump what's really cool you have to back up here okay. a little bit maybe get up right. you can hand me the sprayer and i'll get it closer to him if you can hand it to me I'll, if you don't want to just scratch the floor maybe um, so this transfer pump it's integrated right into the cap spray. There's a little thing that flips up right here. Hopefully you guys, uh, I think they can see that. Let me make sure, check yeah, video. No. Um, they can see no, that. So that. that flips up and that's the electrical connection for the transfer pump. The transfer pump sits right in yes, where your, this is where your, your gun sets. It takes the place, sets right in there. Hooks in there, bam, now it's locked in and this, now your hose, your feed hose is going to go right, come out here, go to your gun, and this is going to take and um, suck right out of, say, a five-gallon bucket or a gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to use a gallon instead of having to refill four times, this will suck right out of a gallon, and um, and and then you don't have to just refill all the time. If you're going to use five gallons, so much more convenient. That's the, the Titan transfer pump. The... Um, this technology, this has been around for about five years. This, um, the cap spray technology has been around. This unit here, yeah. the cap, cap spray has been around for 30 years. The, um, this technology, the 115, the 115 has been around, I believe for eight years. And the one thing about the, the cap spray 115 is um, that unit itself right there is a six stage turbine unit. And what that means is um, the six stage. Um, this is Sarah. The six stage is, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> but they were barking, so we brought them in to visit us. Yeah, now we gotta just w listen to them walk around. Oh, we'll get rid of them. <laughs> so the, no barking, you two. Go on, Sarah. The six stage unit, it can, um, what it can do, it, it can spray heavier materials so a lot heavier materials so it makes your hvlp sprayer a lot more versatile mm -hmm. and then that thing will actually spray um texture like um orange peel texture and stuff like that they have a gun that will attach to that and i gave away one on my um, website not that long ago but next week we're not going to say what but titan's going to give us something really good and we're going to give it away next monday night so you got to come back next monday night for a chance to win um, a Titan product. Yep, so we got some Titan giveaways. So yeah. um, some really cool stuff that Titan has provided to um, 
giveaway. If you go to our website, theidahopainter.com right now, one of those, that unit right there is um, being given away. Yeah. And so go to our website, that unit, and this gun is being a giveaway. And it will be given away on the live show in the only way you can win this, and that is you have to go to my website and enter. There's just, you know, you have to, and by entering, all you got to do is like be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. That will give you an entry. Another thing is you'll look at one of my Facebook posts. That'll give you another entry. I think you get like five entries and it's very simple, easy to do, but you cannot win unless you go to my website, theidahobanner.com and enter. Or if you're on Facebook, there's tabs for them. Well, on the and side. I think the thing is, is what's exciting about this for us is, you know, for 10 plus years, you didn't know about it and you didn't use it. And so the last couple of years you've been using it and it's yeah. made your life better and made your finished product so much better. And so that's why we wanna share it with you and then Titan's being awesome and giving us some things so that we can give it to you yeah. so that you can have um, the same finish that we yeah, have. Yeah, we're, we're um, John and I are always searching for um, you know, improvements in what we do yeah. and the finishes that we create. And if there's anything out there that's gonna improve the quality of our mm -hmm. product, I mean, we're all about it and we're gonna learn about it and we're gonna use it. And this is just one of those things that, you know, I thought that, you know, the quality of our stuff was, you know, as good as it can get and I didn't know, mm -hmm. so we never tested out, but they gave it to me and then we just started, um, or, um, we started messing around with it. We got we got one from Titan a while back and then we um, started using it, messing around with it and then just tested it on the first set of cabinets and we were blown away at well, the difference. And so that's one of those things. It's just like one of those things I was learning and now we know. It's like, so we're sharing this with you if you want to step up your game and get a bet. There, yeah. there truly is, there's, I just, man, no matter how good you are with an airless sprayer, you will not get the quality finish that you do with an HVLP and save amount of product because an airless sprayer is going to use a ton more product so, and um, and have a lot more overspray in the air and um, you can just, you know, all the versatility, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So one thing is, is we do love how um, you tag us in the work that you're doing and, you know, just... The feedback that we get I mean we can't answer every single comment on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube I mean we try but um, we need to sleep at some point he needs to sleep at some point um, and so but we do love seeing your pictures and your feedback and that's the thing it's like people sometimes will knock Chris on how he's doing things like think it's dumb or that he's not doing the best and that's not a we're open you know if you're doing something better share it with us just like we're sharing this product is better it's not a product it's a tool what is it Tool. it's a product it's mm -hmm. yeah it's better and so you know we're sharing that with you and so um you know if you see us doing something and you're like i have a better way we're all ears because that's you know that's the community we want to be a part of yeah so Please like our videos. Please share them on Facebook and um, YouTube. It's a very simple way to help support us. Just um, it, it's simple, just a way to thank us and everything, and just help support our community and everything. Share those videos. Hit that like button. It's kind of funny because I do every time I do create a video, instantly I get three likes. There's no, three, I thought dislikes. Dislikes, I mean. Dislikes. <laughs> we always get three dislikes. There's three At people. Least. And you can you never know you have no idea who likes and dislikes your stuff. Yeah. But as soon as I post a video, every single time some of these three people dislike it. But they do it before funny. they could even watch the video. Right. <laughs> so they just funny. subscribe to yeah. But it, it doesn't matter. But there are hit that thumbs up. Yeah. Hit that share button. Um, yeah. We definitely want to hear because we want. Yeah. We want to do things. Um, Better. If you want to be notified of these, people ask me too. If they like, how do I? am not getting notified. You know, when your videos come out, your live show. Click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Hit subscribe. It's free, simple, easy to do. So I think we should give away our large Titan shirt. Let's give away um, the large Titan shirt. Our large Titan shirt and, and a sticker. And a sticker. You, you have to make because so the, the extra shirt. large. You got to keep the sticker. We'll give the same sticker, I guess. Yeah. So here's the shirt. We're gonna give away the extra large shirt. Hopefully, you're an extra this is, large. This, this is this is the the sticker. The that's sticker. Um, but that's the, the, that yeah. one goes to Chris yeah. Navarro. So I, I need know. to write a new number. You do. Okay, here we go with the number. Um, John knows how to like freeze the feet a lot that's better okay. than I do. That's and, okay. Um, the number is going to be be us. between 1 and um, 50. So, um, no, people probably saw me write that. So, we heard that. You can't do that. So, they oh. probably saw me write it. So, here we go. We'll do it again. Um, 
here we go. The number be, is between one and fifty. And it's for the shirt. It's for the shirt. For the Titan shirt, the for super the rad shirt. shirt between one and fifty, an extra large Titan shirt. We're getting. And I'm looking. Um, here we go. Here we go. Between one the and fifty. The feed goes crazy, so I haven't seen it yet. Um, getting close. You can talk to people while I'm watching. Oh, Lisa. okay. Oh, oh. Oh. Just Lisa, just oh, talk. Okay. Just talk. Oh, I just saw it. Lisa. Okay. Okay. He's looking at the feed. He's taking care of the feed. I, I got... Okay. I'm so, talking. Say something. Burn some time <laughs> like it's a radio program. <laughs> Burn some time. He has a hanger here. And so he has a video that tells you what he does with this hanger. And it's all about helping him to paint cabinets. And so, um, he's going to be talking about it in a few minutes, but, um, guy, I get distracted really easy. Here we go. Here we go. So, um, let me see if we're scrolling down through here. So the number was, here we go. The number was 29 and Josh Hagen, Joshua Hagen was the first one. So Joshua Hagen, Oshua. Well, you're getting a large, so... That's the, that's the size you're getting. You just got to give Large. us your your um, address so I can mail it to you. So Joshua Hagen, li um, email us at liveshow at the-idaho-painter.com. Hopefully McKenna's on there to fire you. It's, we've been written on, it's been written on there. So Josh Hagen, he's the winner. Yeah. Bam, here we go. Let's talk about cabinets because we're running out of time. So we're talking about cabinets. And so I saw you were talking about painting them white and trends. So continue sharing the colors and trends that you're painting cabinets. Um, if you like to paint cabinets, if you do paint cabinets, tell us your experience with cabinets. Yep. Okay, here we go. I'm going to talk about the start, the starting the process. Because you ask people, ask me, do you sand them? Do you prep them? What do you do? So I would say 99.9% .9 of the cabinets we're painting now are stained um, stained cabinets or wood with a clear lacquer over the top of them. And the lacquer itself, you don't have to do a whole lot of prep because what we paint them with is a lacquer. So we spray them with lacquers with our HVLP sprayer. And so here's the process. When we, we start off, we're gonna pull off all the doors. We're gonna pull off all the hardware. So the doors come off, hardware comes off. We're gonna label them. Every single door, it, put a number where the very hinge important. goes. Very critical. Very you important. have to do this. And then you gotta label it, whether it's you know up or down. So the door comes off, put an uh, up arrow so you know it goes back on that way and not the other way. And um, so label your doors, throw all your hardware in a bucket. Now you got your doors and they're all stacked up, labeled, and then you got your face frames. Now we begin, you don't need to do any sanding because um, there it's lacquer. A lacquer goes on top of a lacquer and it melts to the lacquer, becomes one coat. So we don't have to do any sanding to like get bite because the two coats melt to each other. So we use Dawn and this is pretty critical. Use a good quality product to clean your cabinets with. And a lot of the products out there, TSP and just crud cutters and all these different things, um, they leave residues behind, which could cause a lot of different things like fish iron and stuff like that. Dawn dish soap, Dawn, D-A-W-N, um, that is the best for cleaning, D-A-W-N, I just typed it in. Use Dawn dish soap to clean. So we, you know, we'll get some buckets and stuff, get our Dawn in there and just start cleaning them. And it's just like, I mean, we're just like the Molly maids and mm -hmm. you want to just clean down all your face frames, clean the cabin, cabinet doors front and back really good with Dawn and then we're going to let them dry and they'll dry really fast we use you warm um dawn soapy water so you said um it's really important to clean them really well because you said something about fish eyes do you have any videos on what that is and how you resolve that i do so ever? yeah so fish eye is like if there's a contaminant on the door the the paint there's gonna what, what that is there's a, a difference in surface temp and surface tension between the contaminant and your product and the product's going to spray on it's going to hit it and it's going to beat away from that product in little circles and those little circles we call them fish eyes and um, i do have videos on how to resolve fish eye because it can be an absolute nightmare when mm -hmm. painting cabinets or even interior trim 
So, you know, we go through that process, cleaning them, everything. And then, then we go through the process of drilling holes in them. And this is absolutely incredible how we spray these things. And I do have a video showing specifically how we spray cabinet doors. On and YouTube. On YouTube. And these yeah. wooden hangers, they come from Home Depot. And there's a shout out to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, um, so we buy them. They're really cheap. And where this swivel becomes just super important, we take a door... We're going to drill two little tiny holes in the door and, and we always do it in the part that you don't see. So if this is the bottom uh, bottom door and it's closer okay, to the floor, so I'm going to drill two holes right here and nobody's going to be able to see those holes. Not never. Um, if this is the top one up close to the top of the ceiling, you drill them in the top right here. That's why you have to know what's up and down mm -hmm. on your cabinet doors and know where they go. And so you're going to drill the two little tiny holes, a pilot hole with a little, and then we screw these little tiny cup hooks in. So it's going to have two cup hooks on here and then the door is is gonna hang to the swivel right there. And then we got this really killer setup. It's a stand that just comes across and it's made out of PVC, super cheap, mm -hmm. fast, easy to make. And we have a video on it. And okay. this is gonna hang on the PVC. And who's ever spraying, will begin, you know, spraying the doors and it's hanging on the PVC, not with this hand. You'll be spraying it. And as you're spraying it with one hand, you can just spin it around to the other side. Spray it and spin it around to the other side so you can get the edges, the front, back, sides. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely incredible. This is one of the this craziest, like, um, things you can do to make your cabinets go super fast. Now you don't have to, like, there's, there's methods. Um, well, how I used to do them up until like a few years ago, we would spray one, we'd let spray this one side like on a bucket or these yeah. little paint pyramids. And when it dried with latex paints, which is like a day or a long time, <laughs> then you would flip it and spray the other side. Mm -hmm. This way you can spray our method. You can spray all four sides all at once. Mm -hmm. And what we paint them with, so I'll talk about this. So, you know, you've prepped them, you've hung them up, and now you're going to start painting those doors. You start spraying them. We spray them with a catalyzed lacquer. And what is a catalyzed lacquer? A lacquer, that's a is, lacquer. I, is it a pre-catalyzed lacquer or it's a catalyzed? So, What's the difference? Um, pre-catalyzed, it's a catalyzed lacquer, and pre-catalyzing means they just catalyze it at the store okay. so that they're pre-catalyzing for you that you're taking off so they're gonna they they catalyze and what that means is this this gallon of lacquer has a shelf life because that okay. that catalyzing agent makes your lacquer dry a lot harder so it's more resistant to chemicals more, more resistant to scrubbing mm -hmm. so this is an important thing it's like you want your cabinets to be just like they came out of a cabinet shop mm -hmm. super high quality with the best products and so we use it's called a pre-catalyzed high build lacquer and the high build gives it this i mean you, you can feel it you can totally feel the difference between just a regular like mre lacquer versus a, a high build lacquer you can grab it and feel it it just feels soft it feels thick there's a total difference it's amazing and you have to uh, where do we get it our local paint store they don't even sell like the the catalyzed lacquers mm -hmm. um in our regular paint store we have to go to a cabinet shop okay. division of the paint store we buy from and that's where they they do all the color tinting and everything because it's like really spe specialized they don't just throw some tint in there and poop give you a gallon you have to order the oh, paint oh it can take a we have to order it five days in advance yeah um to yeah. get the lacquers and if you run out this is really bad if you run out it's going to take them several days to get you a new gallon because it takes the, they they you don't just take the formula and then spit it into another gallon. Every single gallon is hand hand shot, hand tinted, so it's exact. That's a it's, good yeah. pro tip of you know make sure you get make sure you product and you get it enough in advance yeah. before the job. Bid your product so you're you're gonna have at least a gallon left over, so there's no mistakes. Mm -hmm. And then our cabinet shop before I leave there, I have them um, load some into a spray can. So what okay. you can do is that they'll, they'll take one of those um, one of those gallons and I get two two spray cans and that way if the customer had touch ups or when we're all said and done all the sprayers are cleaned up somebody nicks something the spray can you can take the spray cans of lacquer right in the middle of the door spray the door bam and you're not going to be able to wow. tell it's amazing wow. and so get those spray cans and you can give one to the customer you keep one on your shelf you know as in case they ever call you you have one mm -hmm. there and then begin. That's a good you know, 
of using your product. But order, you know, way more than what you need. It's Mm -hmm. um, very, very critical. And we, the the lacquer, the, we do prime them. So people ask me, you know, do we prime? So there's lacquer on the cabinets now. Now we're going to spray what we call a pre-catalyzed, um, primer surfacer Mm -hmm. and the primer surfacer is different than just say like a regular lacquer undercoater we used to spray them with just regular lacquer undercoater which is just a lacquer primer the um, primer surfacer it's high build like your um our high build top coat and that high build it um if you have grainy cabinets like oak cabinets that are real grainy that primer helps fill the grain it's absolutely amazing if they're really grainy and you want them to be really smooth here's a little simple tip use aqua coat aqua coat is the best grain filler that we've ever used yeah, and, um, are they a newer company because i remember no we've, they've been around for a long time yeah. we've given away some of their products on yeah, here and stuff um they really donated it. stuff mm-hmm. it, it's amazing and i have a video using it how you spread the aqua coat on it dries really fast and sanding it and and you can take oak grainy cabinets and make them completely like glass. And what Aqua Coat was made for is guitars. It was made to get oh, because guitars look electric guitars. You know how they look like just yeah. solid glass. Okay, that that's, makes sense. That's how guitars get like that. Mm-hmm. Whenever you see these tabletop finishes that are super glass for these high high end tabletops, um, they're that using Aqua like... Coat. That's, yeah, that's always John's. That's John's sound. Yeah. Um, so see john's got to notify me of something um prime with primer surfacer he just told me so the the primer john's remind me prime with primer it's you know primer surfacer is what we use so primer surfacer and the the surfacer itself like i say it's what um is what helps fill that grain in. it's not going to fill it 100 percent, but it helps really well you use the primer surfacer and then throw on your high build lacquer absolutely amazing absolutely amazing finish nothing beats it nothing is is as good as that Mm -hmm. and stuff so um yeah so you're priming it you use the locker you hang them on the thing what do you do next after you paint them like how long do you have to let them dry before you reinstall them it's it so we we do um our our process is is we spray two coats of primer on them and this is what's really cool and listen to this process this is when we used to paint um, cabinets with latex paints, it was a multi-day process mm-hmm. because you can't prime them and put two coats of primer and then three top coats yeah. or two top coats on. With our um, lacquers, you can we'll put two primer coats on. As soon as you spray them, you get through all your doors, you go right back and start again. It drives mm-hmm. that fast, fast. And you don't have to sand. This is incredible. These high-end lacquers, we never sand in between coats and they come out just glossy smooth. People always ask me, do you stand yeah, in between coats? Yeah, I've, I've no. seen that. No. I've seen that people are like yeah. shocked, like no sand, no yeah, sand. Yeah. So, and here's another th- a quick thing. If you have, um, if you have cabinet doors, I want to speak fast because we're running out of time. If you have cabinet doors, this is glass, but if this was wood with a raised panel right here, we like to caulk that raised panel so it, it okay. looks all seamless and smooth. And if you want to do them in a day, we've come up with a system. You use bolt. Bolt is um is a caulking that dries in like an hour and you can bolt. lacquer right over it. And in if you use any other caulking, you can't you can't caulk it and paint it the same day. Okay. So use use bolt. And um the bolt and it I think it's made by white lightning. Okay. Um so use bolt and then your cabinets are gonna look just absolutely amazing. So we can spray two two primer coats on, and after the primer coats are drawn, John has a system absolutely the bomb amazing we can take a full set of kitchen cabinets in one day we can mask it all off create our tent our spray booth everything and john can spray two coats of primer and then typically two top coats uh, it's always at least two sometimes it has to be three but so Just we're talking four on. coats in one day and everything's completely dry by the end of the day it's completely dry we typically wait till we go back the next day it's and then we rehang style. everything because even though it's dry dry um you know it's still not like cured and totally hardened yeah and so but we have th- this is crazy our own kitchen cabinets we wanted to test to see if we can do it all in one day <laughs> and we don't have a, a large cabinets. kitchen but it's uh, our it's um you know medium-sized kitchen mm-hmm. we sprayed two um two primer coats two top coats and created the booth, sprayed it, and rehung them the same day. We had it all done. And yeah, granted, it was a it's, long day, but we did it. Tore it all down, had it all cleaned up in, um, in one day. And that is how you can make crazy money painting cabinets. Well, and the thing is, is I love my cabinets because I had the Naughty Elder that I loved when we got them eight years ago. 
but for some reason I wanted to go white. And yeah, you guys did it over a year ago and they look fabulous. Here, here's another super really cool tip. Um, yeah, great point. She, Naughty Alder cabinets. If you, um, and you can watch, I got a video on this, Naughty Alder, you got all those knots. You don't have to just lacquer them and have all those knots, which would leave all these like black voids. Use Bondo. Use Bondo glazing putty and fill, if they're really big um, holes and stuff, um, use Crawford spackle, Crawford's um, interior, exterior spackle, spackle them all first, mm -hmm. and then go over them with two coats of Bondo and sand them, and you won't even see those knots at all. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. We gotta do one more giveaway before we run out of time. It's eight o'clock. Let's do so, um, one but last giveaway. We could do one last giveaway, but just make sure and be with us next week because next week Titan's giving us something that we are gonna give away on the live show. So make sure and be with us. Titan, Titan's giving us several several cool things, man. That you're so not you gonna go want to our website. You're not gonna want to miss the giveaway. So I, I kind of I walked you through that process like really fast. Yeah. And, you know, because I mean I'm trying to teach you how to paint cabinets in <laughs> in less than an hour. Yeah. But um, I, I put out a whole bunch a of, lot videos of videos that that go over this process each step like a lot more in depth mm -hmm. and we're going to be coming out with some new ones because this we got coming into a new winter and we've gotten better and even come yeah. up with some new methods and john is always you know researching things and coming up with new better ways i mean he's coming up with new better ways to do everything like every day he's crazy um the guy reads so much and researches so much he's like an encyclopedia of all this stuff but um yeah so um I hope I didn't miss anything. I mean, I wanted to talk about, you know. Well, I think you that, have a that, lot of videos out there. Yeah. And you did share. I mean, you just shared something that you learned about and it's helped you. And so that's what we're here about. Now, another tip when um, spraying, you know, your cabinets um, with lacquers, man, you got to use a respirator. We use the organic cartridge respirators right here from 3M. I mean, I'm sure other companies make them. I just, um, I just wanted to say, so people are always asking, you know, um, respirators and stuff like that, which ones. It's the um, organic vapor cartridge when we're doing um, cabinets and using lacquers because when you're spraying in the booth, there's no way you can go in there without a respirator. And so Thank you, bro. Um, people have heard me always wear a respirator, yep. um, as Safety Sally would say. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have a giveaway so, um, and we want to make sure that you follow us and share. We want to share our information with you and we want you to share with us. And so you can share our videos, you can share our pictures or posts on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. So um, let's be a sharing. Share, share, sharing share. is caring. So um, we're going to do a giveaway. So check out our website, theidahopainter.com. So we're going to do a giveaway, um, our last giveaway to close up the night. So um, I think... Uh, He's got to put on his rad glasses. That's Chris's new word from the 80s, rad. What do you mean new? That's like a word that's been around for the ages. Well, you're bringing it back. The ages. So we're going to give away a paint, a, monkey suit. a paint life shirt with a paint life sticker. So right here, mm -hmm. here we go. We're going to um, write a number on the back of the sticker. Yes, we are. And um, we'll just, how about we do a different, like, um, like a number, like an upside down number or something like that. Or should we just. No, no, no. You don't want to make it no, complicated? No, So the number is going to be. I'm a simple person. Um, here we go. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you very much for being with our show and putting up with all of our nonsense our silliness. and um, silliness. And next week. We enjoy coming here and doing this. We um, do. Don't forget, we do live shows in the field occasionally on Facebook. So go yeah. check us out there and, and even Instagram. Instagram. We got people already guessing. So the number is between um, 1 and 50. So here we go. Um, I'm starting to figure out how John does this, how he like freezes it and then goes back oh. and looks. John's the master. I, I don't even think John's gotten home yet because he texted me. Long day for John. Everybody wish John um, good luck for resting tonight and getting up for the next day. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for the number. We got numbers. It's between 1 and 50. I see numbers above 50. So you guys want to like be um, between 1 and 50. I can't even remember what number I wrote now. <laughs> I uh, see it. Um, okay. Don't, 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 don't. He, he's 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 elbowing me that's no, not a no. good thing yes it's you like, are You're i was elbowing. nudging you uh, that's elbowing me that's a go nudge. no that's elbowing let's see is up that more the... nope up more let's see um keep going that's the first of the feet okay. you haven't seen the number okay we haven't seen I the did number see yet it. yes i did 
I see uh, it multiple times. Well, you obviously, that, that right there is the first one. Okay, so type it in. 803. One more time, let's see. Here we go. I'm going down. You tell me when you see it. Right that... there. Yep. All right, we got a winner. So the winner of the Paint Life shirt, we need to know what shirt, what size you want. The winner is Linus, Linus 20. Linus 20. Linus 20. So Linus 20, you're, you're the winner. You're going to get a Paint Life shirt. And keep on the lookout. We are working on our website right now to bring a online store where you can get our shirts and our hats at a more affordable price. And so um, that will be coming. But make sure and share our videos and tag us. And um, thank you. We really, I love seeing people's um, products or finished projects. Finished yeah, guess projects. what? We never had any um, blackouts tonight. No. <gasps> wow. No, nothing went wrong tonight. It all went. So you didn't even need to wear your red glasses. Yeah, check it out. You like them? Yeah, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys very much for being on our live show. Yep. I'm off to go watch some Monday Night Football now. Yeah. And get my hunting gun ready for hunting tomorrow. So i got to go get us some dinner. Yep. So if, don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, um, and Instagram. I absolutely love Instagram. It's yeah. growing so fast. Got some pretty cool very stuff fun. on there. We'll see you on our next video. Out. <laughs>